Hey internet, it's me. Um, okay. So, Saw 6. Better than the last two. I feel like this was above average. There were some things I didn't like, but overall, I feel like this one was more entertaining. But I will say, the cop is the same cop from the last couple. And, like, he doesn't want the FBI or detective, whatever they are, they don't really make it clear. He doesn't want them to think that he's in on it or part of it. But he's acting so shady and sketchy the whole time. For a detective, all he ever asks is, why this, why that, instead of helping them come up with things to make him seem... Yeah. Yeah, not like, stupid or part of it. Like, if you're trying to cover your tracks, you would act like you want to help. Because that would be your job if you were innocent, would be to help solve this crime. But he's not doing that. He's, I don't know, being just very obviously antagonistic. Like, especially at the hospital with the one victim. He's like, oh, well, did you learn your lesson? Like, no cop in the history of ever would have asked that question that way. Like, that's the stupidest thing. Also, the son was kind of a snotty dick. Like, that doesn't really mean anything. Some kids are just shitty. Like, that's that's normal. It's teenagers, but... You just... I mean, that's everybody in all these movies. I know, but he was just a really snotty, annoying teenager. I just didn't like him. But, no. Overall, I felt like this one did better than the last two. I felt like it was more entertaining. Um, I like that instead of retconning things now, they're actually planning old movies and new movies. Mm-hmm. You know, and they're all actually flowing together. But they're still just neutral for me. They're not bad. They're not good. This one wasn't any better? No, it's still just neutral. Oh. The deaths weren't as good in this one. The games weren't as good. I will say, the the games definitely changed. Because in the beginning, there was always a chance to survive. You just had to make whatever sacrifice or do whatever thing to do it. Whereas in this one... Like, you absolutely, people will die. There's no question, like, someone's going to die. Someone has to die for the game to end. Possibly all the people will die. So it's very, I don't know, it's different. I liked it better when it was more of, like, a cool planning type thing. It's getting to be too much. Like, how many games can you plan all in the span of about a week? Yeah, And seriously. have them all go perfectly. Like, in the very beginning of the movie... The lady woke up, and she pulled the thing, and that turned the lights on. And then the guy woke up, and he pulled the thing and turned the TV on. What if it had gone the opposite way, and he would woke up, turned the TV on, and started the countdown, but she was still in the dark, and all she, all she yeah. had to do was pull the lights? Yeah. I don't know. It, it does... I liked it better when it felt like there was more thought going into it. Plus, like you said, how much stuff can he realistically have plans? Like, he didn't live that long. I feel like I know he had I help. I feel like his plans should have every all movie says you run know, out with a lot of help, but he can only get so much help and do so much with all all that engineering. Years and years and years. But yeah, so I don't know. I think this one's a six. I think it's a little above average, better than the last two, but still not the best. Uh, I'll continue to give it a five. Just middle of the road, one and done for me. These are all one and done. I never want to see any of them again so far. Yeah. All right, well, uh, the next one's the doozy. So, 3D. Stay tuned, because tomorrow we're going 3D. Hooray! Yay.